Okay, I did another take of the acoustic guitar, and I'm really happy with take number three. So that's the one I want to listen to while I'm recording my vocal. If I wanted to hear a different one, I could just click on that, and that becomes the active take. So I want to hear take three, so I click on take three. If I wanted to hear take one, I'd click on take one. So that's simply how we can select the take we want to hear. I'll hit home to go back to the beginning of the session. So let's set up for recording vocals. I suggest using the same mic and input on your audio interface that you use for the acoustic guitar. So what next? Well, we need to create a track to record on, and we can do that by hitting Control T on Windows or Command T on a Mac, or simply double clicking in the track area. And what's the next thing we need to do? Name the track. We're recording vocals, so I'm going to call this Vocals. Actually, I'll just call it Vocal. After we've named the track, we need to tell Reaper where to get the audio from. If you haven't changed anything and you're in analog input number one, it should default there. In my case, however, I'm using ADAT input number one on my interface. Again, we'll need to set our input gain as it was fine for guitar, but vocals could be a different volume. So to do that, we need to arm the track so we can see the input level on the meter. So using the input gain on your audio interface, you can change the input level. And we're aiming for something about minus six on the meter. In my case, I'm pretty close. If I wanted to uh, adjust that, I could, I could adjust my input level here and turn it down. And I'm going to turn it back up because I had a pretty good level. A good way to test this is to sing the loudest part of the song you're about to sing and just making sure that you don't clip the input. So I'm going to do that. Come what may, this pain will pass away, our paths will cross. I'm pretty close. I may actually want to clear this. I see I'm at minus five. I'm just going to clear that. I'm going to turn my input down just a little tiny bit. And I'm going to try again. Come what may, this pain will pass away. Okay. It's funny, when I talk, I actually talk a little bit louder than I sing. So I'm happy with that level, though. I feel good. I feel like I'm not going to clip. I've got enough room. So the next thing I want to do is create a headphone mix. I'm going to be using the direct monitoring software that came with my audio interface in conjunction with Reaper to create that mix of acoustic guitar and the vocal that I'm recording. As you might remember, the next thing we need to do is turn down or turn off our speakers and put some headphones on and use headphones for recording because we don't want the click track or the acoustic guitar to show up in our vocal recording. And we also want to avoid feedback. So I'm going to leave the metronome on and I'm going to hit play and I'm going to switch back and forth between my Total Mix software and Reaper, adjusting the levels so that I can be happy with my headphone mix. Here we go. So to adjust the acoustic guitar, just adjust it right here in Reaper. The vocal, I would do that over here. Now I said I was in eight out number one, so I see that this is the input that I need to adjust, and this is the volume fader for that. Will pass away, our paths will cross again someday. The same old way. There we go. I'm actually back to Reaper here. I'm actually pretty happy with that level. I just kind of mumbled my way through it, but it seemed like a good level in my in my headphones. Now, if you can't hear yourself singing while the track is playing back, there's a few things that you could try. Number one, turn down the guitar in Reaper. Number two, try turning up your vocals in your direct monitoring software. Or if you don't have direct monitoring software, your interface will likely have a playback input balance control. And if you turn that more towards the input side, you'll hear more of yourself and less of the track being played back. But the number one most important thing right now is not to adjust the input gain on your audio interface. The input gain is set. We're very happy with that. 
that is the level we're going to be recording at. All the other changes we're making are simply the levels we're hearing them back at. Those are our monitoring levels or our headphone levels, and they can be changed later on. We know we've got a great recording level, so let's actually do a recording. I'm happy with my headphone mix, so to do a recording, we make sure our track is armed, which it is, and either by hitting the record button here in the transport bar or using the shortcut of Control R on Windows machine or Command R on a Mac, we can get this show on the road. So let's do it. Okay, I'm going to do a couple more takes so I can get something that I'm happy with. You'll also notice I didn't let the ending ring out like I did with the acoustic guitar because when my vocal was done, my vocal was done. It doesn't have a resonance that rings out like a guitar does. So I can safely hit stop after a couple of seconds of silence. So I'm going to do a couple more takes and then we'll come back. <laughs> 